Welcome back. It's an uncomfortable side of weight loss. When someone loses hundreds of pounds, they're often left with a lot of extra skin. And for some, excess skin can be almost as emotionally damaging as the extra weight. TV 20's Emily Burris explains how, when it comes to skin removal, surgery is the only solution. Doctors say skin removal procedures have increased in the last decade, Dave, as bariatric surgery becomes more popular. It's a costly procedure, but one that those who've had it say is life-changing. I was very uncomfortable, and that was for, say, seven years. Bill Whatmo of Gainesville lost more than half his body weight after having lap band surgery. While his weight loss was successful, he was left with extra skin around his midsection. It pressed up into my stomach. I could not get comfortable. Excess skin is often a result of dramatic weight loss. There's only so much that the skin can contract. So these are people who that have the extra skin, and no matter how much weight they lose, they're still going to have that extra skin. And the only option available to them is to have that extra skin removed. While the results are aesthetically pleasing, skin removal can also serve a medical purpose. Folds of skin can lead to excessive perspiration and rashes. When they still have all of that extra skin around their waist, they're, they're still, uh, they're tucking that extra skin into their clothes and, and it doesn't allow them to have normal mobility. Dr. Richard Sadoff performed Whatmo surgery a little over three weeks ago. He says the abdominoplasty or tummy tuck is the most common skin removal surgery. In most cases, it's an outpatient procedure lasting only a few hours. Patients are left with some visible scars, but Sadoff says it's a trade-off. Removing that extra skin helps people to normalize their life. The downside, these procedures often are not covered by insurance. Costs vary based on type of procedure. Whatmo saved up the money and says it was worth every penny. I have more comfort now than I thought I would have. Whatmo says after the surgery, he can now fit better into his favorite wardrobe staple, his blue jeans, and went from a size 40 to a size 38. Tomorrow in Your Health, we'll look at the long-term impact these surgeries can have. Emily Burris, TV 20 News.